Hello and welcome to uh, yet another worked exercise for Python for Informatics, Exploring Information. I'm Charles Severance. I am your tour guide to this particular uh, worked example. And uh, this material is Creative Commons Attribution. And I hope to see the clever and cool things that you can do with it. This is part of my www.pythonlearn.com website that helps you to get learn Python sort of from the very beginning with videos and other materials to help you uh, go along with the book. Of course, the book is Creative Commons Attribution, so uh, pretty much everything here is uh, free for you to use and, and adapt as you see fit. So we're taking a, sort of a working example from the Tuples uh, chapter. And uh, the, the, the task that we're given is uh, find the 10 most common words in uh, in a file and we will will do that so if we take a look at the basic overall structure we're going to read a file we're going to make a dictionary an empty dictionary and we're going to leave, read the line uh, we're going to read the file line by line we're going to split each line then we're going to loop through the line using the dictionary pattern from the dictionaries chapter using get so that we can both access and initialize uh, new words that we haven't seen at the same time. And then we are going to do, we need to sort, right? But we need to sort by the value instead of the key. So we're going to make a list, and then we're going to loop through the results of the dictionary, and we're going to make a new tuple, but instead of being key value, which is what you get from items, we're going to do value key. And then we'll sort that in reverse order, and then we'll simply print the first 10 elements of that sorted in reverse order. And because we're constructing carefully this new tuple value key in the right order, value will be what's sorted on first. And then in cases where value matches, it will sort on key. Whereas if we just took items, which is key value tuples, then it would sort on the key. And that's uh, quite easy. So that's the basic idea. Um, so let's go ahead and, um, and get started. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to grab some of this and save myself a little bit of time and paste that in. I'm going to use actually Romeo short because I don't want to mess with the Romeo has punctuation in. So I'm going to go. Um, I'll call this under tuples. I'm going to call this guy top ten .py. And see if it's in my tuples folder. Yep, just always sanity checking. So let's um, let's go ahead to Python Learn and grab that Romeo short file. So I'm going to grab Romeo short. If I look at Romeo, Romeo uh, Romeo short has conveniently has the. Uh, or just Romeo conveniently has the uh, punctuation moved and it's small so we can do debugging. Romeo full is a little harder and I cover that in the book in some more detail uh, to get rid of punctuation and stuff. Not too bad, not too bad, but we won't talk about it here. So I'm going to grab Romeo.txt and I'll save this to my dictionaries, uh, my uh, tuples folder as Romeo.txt. And I should be done with that now and I'm done with that. So if I take a look at tuples again, I've got Romeo.txt in this file top10.py, and it's not Romeo, it's uh, Romeo.txt. And I'm just going to split. I mean, I think, I hope by now you can read a text file and, and uh, split it into words and count those words in a dictionary. So I'm just going to print out the uh, dictionary, the counts dictionary that we've got at the end, and let's see how that works. So I'll go into my desktop, and this is under tuples. And so there's Romeo.txt and top10.py. So let's go ahead and run top10.py. And so there we go. We have just sort of roared through, broke it into words, broke it into lines. And we have a nice, convenient um, little thing here. Now, you know what? I'm going to do one thing that's not in the example. Uh, this, The fact that these are uppercase, I don't know if it's going to cause a problem or not, but I want to... That, this is bo this bothers me, and so um, 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna force all the words to be lowercase, and so I'm gonna call uh, I'm gonna make a thing word equals word dot lower. I think it's lower. We'll find out fast enough. So I'm gonna just grab a lowercase version of word and make it be wrd, and that's that's what I'm gonna put into my dictionary. So let me run this again, see if I got it right. Yeah. So now we see things like who is lowercase. I don't think it changed any of the numbers. It may have, but I just I think we shouldn't treat uh, uppercase or we should make this case insensitive so we'll map everything to lowercase. So I just did that by mapping it to lower and then um, using WRD instead of Word uh, after I made a, a, a copy. So, so here we go. So then what I'm going to do is I've got my counts and I'm going to print the results of the items. So that gives us a list. Instead of just showing it, it gives us a list of tuples. So there's a tuple. It's a two item tuple, 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 and it's key value pairs. Okay. And we can, this is useful now in particular because we can construct a for loop that goes through for key val, key and value. key val equals, uh, I'm sorry, in count dot items. I get all confused trying to create um, really non-mnemonic variables. So we got key and val, and, you know, it's a it's two iteration variables, and the way it works is, you know, these will iterate through each tuple, 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 and then key will be the first thing in the tuple, which is the key, and the value will be the second thing in the tuple. Key, val, key, val. And so key will bounce through these at the same time as val is going to bounce through the corresponding values. So that's quite nice. So just, I always love sanity checks, so I'm going to print out key and val. Just print them out. Yeah, something's wrong. Key, val, in oh, counts. So, so here we go. Trace back, line 11, the name count is not defined. I was so quick, I didn't even read what it told me. So look at line 11. So I'm in line 11, and then I forgot my S. So it's pretty much, you know, once you get used to this, it's pretty much telling me what it wants to do. So now I'm going through my tuples. Here's my tuples, and now I'm going through the tuples one at a time, just dumping them out in a loop, and away we go. Now, the whole problem is, is we want to make a new tuple, okay, and I'm going to call this new tu, new tup, and I'm going to create a tuple, and I can do this by just putting these two things in parentheses, except that I want val first and key second, okay, so I want val first and key second, and so now I'm going to print out new tup. Now you'll see that as I loop through each of the key value pairs, I'm just making a new tuple where they're reversed, where the value is first and the key is second. All right? So value key, value key, value key. And now I'm going to stick this in a list. And I'm going to make, uh, I'm call my list flipped. And I'm going to say, give me an empty list. So. So, I mean, I'm starting an empty list called flipped, and um, I am going to tell flipped to append to itself. So now I'm extending this list each time through the loop. Take that new tup that I just made. So we got new tup, and I'll take my print statement out because that'll be obvious. So I'm going to append new tup to the end of my flipped list, and then I'll print at the end of this print flipped. Okay, so I make a tuple, and instead of printing it, I just append it to this list, and I print the whole list out afterwards. Okay, so this is a little messy, but here is the first list. It's got key value, and here's the second list. It's exact same list as before, except it's value key. Now, it's exact same list. We didn't take anything out. We didn't add anything. We didn't sum anything. We didn't do anything. 
So then what is it that we're going to do with this list? Well, we can use the totally, well, we let's just, we could use sorted, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, I want to take that flipped list and I want to sort it. Sort and then print flipped. Just sort it. Now the key is sorting. The key of awesomeness of sorting is that sorting is done by repeated comparison. And it's comparing this tuple to this tuple. But the rules of tuple comparison is it first checks the first pair and then it checks the second pair. It only checks the second pair if the first pair doesn't match. So 3, 1 doesn't match, and so it sorts it based on the 3 and the 1 without even looking. But then when there is two 3s that match, it actually does check the second two words. So 3 and will, will sort... The and and the the will decide where the 3 and and the 3 the tuples end up sorting, if that makes any sense. Okay, so let's just print this out. Actually, let's print print flipped, not clipped. We could make a clipped one too later. And I'm actually going to get rid of this print. So it's going to print flipped before and after. So watch this. So here's flipped before. It's been sorted in whatever order it was in the dictionary in the first place. And now here's flipped in the final order. And you see that um, you know it's in it's in sort of reverse order where um, you know three and is and the are here at the end. The ones are in alphabetical order within the ones because tuples check. Oops, don't do that. Don't do that. That was nasty. Ah, that was really nasty. It's because I was copying and pasting. So within all the ones, it actually sorted based on the uh, alphabetic sort of the second parameter or the second item in the tuple. Uh, whereas uh, in among you know the twos all sorted uh, later. So this actually isn't quite what I wanted, and so I'm going to say reverse equals true because I actually want to sort it so the big numbers are at the front. So let's run that little bit. So check that right. So now I got my same sort. It's got the unsorted. Now it's got the sorted, but the big numbers are at the beginning. Now you'll notice it's kind of in sort of reverse alphabetical order because the big words are at the beginning among the threes, but yeah, whatever. We're close enough for government work. So now I want to print out the top 10. Okay. Oops, don't. I did that again. I want to print out the top 10. I'll just do like the top five. Do the top five. So I could do something simple. We'll get rid of this. We trust that it's now properly sorted. I could say. Print this a list up to but not including five by using list slicing. So there we go. There's the top five. So but that looks kind of ugly. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. So I'm gonna write a super cool for loop. But again, simple, right? Just for me to check it, I can say, you know, print the first five of flipped. This little slice list slicing is a great way if you're using a lot of data to kind of keep your data from being totally insane. Okay? So I'm gonna write a for loop for cake, a key and value in flipped. And now I'm going to say, so I'm going to say only go through the first five. So this loop will only run for the first five. Just like this only prints the first five, this is going to iterate only through the first five and key and value will go through the keys and the values of these first five. Three, the, key value, three is. And now I'm just going to print a sweet, cool message out. And I'm just printing completely insane, partially mnemonic things. So I print out my top five keys and values. So let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and run that baby. Winner, three is the, three is, three and. So we saw five of these things, five of them, and we're seeing the key and the value. It would probably be more easily read if I just did that. Right. So three the, three is. Those are the top five words in 
my little program. So let's kind of take a look at this and review. All right. We open the file. We make an empty dictionary. We do our standard um, file loop, splitting each line. New lines are kind of chomped up in the split, so we don't have to worry too much about it. We loop through the words. We changed it to make it go lowercase for each word. We use the get pattern to both initialize new words to one and add one to existing words by using this awesome getness. Now we want to flip. We want to flip the uh, the order in each tuple. We want to make the tuples from key value tuples, which we get from items, to value key tuples. We append each of those tuples to a list. Then with the tuples that have the the val and the key in them, wow, I can't write with this very well, we sort them in reverse order, but the val is going to be the most important thing it gets sorted on because it's the leftmost thing in the tuple. And then we simply print out the last five, or the top five of this tuples after the sort. And so that pretty simple, print out the top five words in this particular file. Okay? Simple enough. Thanks a lot and see you uh, see you on the net.